Mexico from that location. It's amazing. They cleared them out of here. All the campsites I used to come to, they cleared them out. I don't know what's going on. Let's go check out another. I see a tent set up over there. Maybe somebody's over there. This is the area where Mark used to live at in his campsite. But the police have moved everyone out of here. This is all the mess and the trash that you see here is from the homeless being put out of this area. So this is the trash. Eventually, they're going to have to come through here and clean this up. But it's one large mess. Now they've moved over next to this property on a one acre stretch of property. But we still have all this mess that has been left back here. And this is how come a lot of our homeless lose and are moved. It's because of the trash they leave and they make. It would be nice to have a designated area, like a one or two acres of property, that we can build some areas for them to be able to set their camps up and have it as rules that they have to keep it clean and we can have a little community center in the middle to where they can come and try to find jobs. Give them a good safe place, but it just takes uh, takes time and it takes Beaver County to to agree to let's let's work together to find a solution to the problem because it's not going to go away. We're going to have homeless here and they're going to need help. But if we don't help them, they'll find resources and a way to do their own, um, you know, hoarding up stuff and all this. And this is what happens when people aren't trying to help them and they're trying to help themselves. So I'm not, I'm not saying that uh, we have a cure, but I think we can try to do something about all the mess. This is basically what happens when we ignore the problem and don't try to find a solution. So, I'll still continue to go out and feed, try to be a blessing, whether they like me or not. They don't like to be recorded and all of that. And some do, some don't mind it. But for the ones that seem to get mad about it, it just, uh, I don't know. It just makes them mad because they like their privacy. So what can we do about it? You know, how can we help this situation in Beaufort County, around the Beaufort area? If we are going to have the homeless, they're going to be here. What are we going to do about it? And how are we going to help them? So I'll try to be a blessing as long as I can. Here we have another abandoned campsite. I wasn't sure when I first saw it whether it was abandoned or not. But as I got close up to it, I realized there wasn't anybody living there. It's been abandoned for a little while. It's still got an inflatable mattress, tarps. Um, it's still a good livable tent. So more than likely somebody will come move back into this particular tent. They'll clean it up and have them a spot to stay. Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Preacher Tom, Street Smart Homeless Outreach. I'm walking out here through these woods, trying to 
locate new sites. And uh, this is an old site here, been abandoned for a little while. Uh, it's got some common gas, little teeny gas bottles that are there, but you can tell they, they've been gone for a while. Yellow water. I don't think I'm messing up. Anyway, um, this is an old site. Somebody will eventually come back here and take this old site. It's got spider webs and all around it. So I know there's been nobody in it. I know there's been nobody in it. So um, it's been abandoned for a little while. And they ran a lot of the homeless out of this area uh, some time back. So this is an old campsite. It's got some of these, matter of fact, some of these old Coleman gas bottles. Um, I can actually refill these. So it's got two or three of these laying around here. I'm gonna take them back with me, um, being that this site's abandoned. And I'll refill these for some of our homeless that might need these gas bottles later. Um, Cause I have a refill kit and a scale have to do is just to weigh them out uh, on how much propane is in them, liquid propane. So we'll do that. I'm going to walk around a little more, see if we can find some more old sites or new sites. I'm trying to see if I can locate my homeless that have moved out and moved away. I've got some other, other woods I'm going to be looking at, so you go with me on those as well. But there's tarps and all kinds of stuff out here that I could eventually get. I mean, there's all kinds of good stuff here that you could you could salvage to give to someone else. But this is already set up. Somebody could just come here. This is actually one of the tents I gave away. Uh, one of my tents that I had given away. So I'm not sure exactly who it was back here, but long story short, I'm going to keep looking and I'll Let's go see if we can find some homeless out here and find out uh, if we can help them. All right, come on, go with me. It's like another, another abandoned site. Somebody's been back here, so anyways, see who we can help and who we can help. So and there's some tents here that are covered up pretty well, so looks like they got a lot of stuff stored. Anyways, I don't know where Robert and Tina went. They used to live back here. Uh, then we got Eddie and Ashley, and they're out here somewhere. And uh, can't help them if I can't find them. So. somebody over there Robert and Tina Robert Tina Ooh, the limb fell on that place
There's the old place. Roberts and Tina's. I remember when they had that when they moved, were moving stuff. A whiskey bag. I don't know if somebody's been staying here or not. But somebody's got all their stuff wrapped up, so that might be Robert and Tina's, what they salvaged. Now let's go to some other places and see if we can find them. Shame. Preacher Tom Anderson, and we're out here. Uh, Robert and Tina used to live back here. All back in the area, back in there. All back in those areas. So, but I'm not seeing a lot of stuff here, and a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff they've got that is wrapped up. They don't want to get messed up. So, I'm, evidently, they're coming back and checking it every once in a while. So, let's get to another location. See if we can help. Try to be a blessing. Richard Tom Anderson. Let's go see if we can find somebody. Like I said, they've all moved out. I don't know where they've gone. And, uh, they could have been escorted out, or they could have been forced to go into rehab. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's go find out. Hey, it's Preacher Tom Anderson, Streets of America Homeless Outreach Ministry, and I'm out here helping Andy. Get him a bag, um, Using some of these bags that uh, Brother Mike Morgan gave me to um, put stuff in. I'm going to bring a bag of stuff out to Andy. I'm not filming today. I'm filming me loading stuff in the bags. But, you know, our homeless tend to get a little, get a little etchy. Andy's sitting out here. And, um... So Andy is sitting out there by the roadside. Josh! And, um, Come on, buddy. 
Hey, I've got a water in the tank. Do, do you have anything? Thank you. Do you have anything like, like anything I got a hot meal. Anything? Oh, you got a hot meal. What is it? Um, chili mac, rolls, green beans, corn. Um, like, uh, I'm good. I was kind of just hoping you had like you know like some snack things like I don't know. Like, I do. Um, I'll fix your bag of snacks. Do you, like where the sweet things would be best? Is, like, is a I got some or Rice Krispie treats and I might have a couple pop tarts. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We made you some couple crackers. It'd be awesome. Come on, Josh. I'd appreciate it. I ain't seen you in a while. Josh, you hungry? I can fix your hot meal. I got some chili mac with some green beans, corn, rolls. If you're not rice krispie treat, I'll fix your bag of snacks too. I gotta come back up here, so unless you want to walk over there, but I'll be right back. problem what well, no like <laughs> I don't have anything to do with this drug addiction like I'm I don't have drugs to give you that's not me oh is that what he wants yeah he want he wants me to give him drugs that don't exist I don't have them I don't do drugs like that like I don't know he's like I made you some cheese and chips if you want it I'm, I'm good on that you good on it I'm good yeah I appreciate it though all right yeah there's some rice crispy treats and a pop tart in there well, that was yeah, the last pop tart you. I had hey thank you and, and, crackers, uh, hell yeah. and some crackers thank you man all right yeah. Andy you'll be good buddy Right.